everybody I'm gonna show you how to change out the hard drive and the memory in a Asus laptop model number Q302 LA this is the Windows 10 version I'm not gonna do anything with the software this is merely just for hardware purposes just so if you have the specific model that I have it's slightly different from some of the, ge the generic tutorials out there, which I'll uh, put in links of a couple of the ones that I used for the uh, software and cloning. So there's the model number here, Q302LA, ASUS. So the back, back panel has 10 screws, 1, 2, 3, 4. At the top, 1, 2, three, four at the bottom, and there's two left and right on the middle, on the sides there. So it's all one piece. You're gonna take those out, and then that piece comes out. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, one of those mini ones that they typically use for electronics and stuff. Um, I don't know the exact size, but hopefully if you have a set, you'll be able to find which one fits best. So you, it's the, again, it's the Phillips style screwdriver, and then you, besides that, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver or a pry bar, whatever you think uh, works best for you. I might just use the flathead; works okay. So I was gonna show. I started already loosening them up, but I will show you kind of what my screwdriver looks like so one of those mini ones, those skinny ones there didn't really focus but it's, oh, it's just a Phillips, you know what the Phillips is and then the flathead right there for just for prying off the plastic uh, clips and stuff or the plastic and this is my diagram for so I don't lose my screws and I know which hole which each which screw goes to which hole. So when I take off a screw, I put it, you know, in that hole in the diagram, and then I put it back. Screw, so when you unscrew all the screws, the only place you need to pry off the plastic is the top part, near the spine. There's like a few clips. I start in the corners and then work into the middle. And then once you do that, the whole thing comes off. So don't waste your time trying to pry from the bottom or the side because all the clips are basically just on near the spine. See? And it all comes out. It's a good time to clean if it's dusty in there. I already did mine, so it's not too dirty. It's a CPU fan. Everything should be there. <laughs> so on the left side, under that heat shield, that aluminum heat shield looking thing, is the RAM. There's a one removable stick of RAM. Um, you use the pry bore under that little notch there and pop it up. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side and do the hard drive first. Just because I already installed the hard drive, I'm just going to show you guys where all the screws are and where the ports are. So there's five screws. There's five screws that hold the bracket to the motherboard. One, two, three, and then there's a fourth one under this tape here. And then after the four on this corner, there's a fifth one on the side, which is your uh, warranty sticker screw. If you bought this in 2015 like I did, the warranty's long gone, so I wouldn't worry about it. You're, Just, just be aware that that's what it is. So you would unscrew those, and then at the bottom is the the SATA port. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew those, and then show you where the four screws that hold the bracket to the hard drive. So again, I lay my screws out just so I know where they're supposed to go back. 
the warranty screw is a slightly different size from the other four so just make note of that one thing to note is that the port the what is it the connection that connects the uh, SATA port to the motherboard may pop out if you're not careful that's what happened to me I plugged it every, everything back in and tried to boot it up and it was showing that my my disk was blank so that wasn't good and I found out it was because that part right there came out and you don't want that so you just make sure to put it back if it comes out or just to make sure you don't take it out in the first place and then that part that black part of the drive that's where the side part is so when you take the bracket out you move it and you can peel off the little protective covering on the drive you'll see my drives already installed um, if you still have the stock drive it's gonna look different when you peel this off mine's mine is like a solid state drive so it's just like a blank looking drive it's the bomb side but anyways you peel this off and you have one screw there and then you have one towards the top peel the rest of that side off and there it is there's the other side and it kind of comes off of there on the other side of the bracket the other two screws are already exposed they're on the outside of the uh, protective covering so you don't have to pull off the protective covering all the way um, I'm not sure if it's completely necessary especially if you're going to use a solid state drive but I go I went ahead and just left everything as it is as much as possible see those are the other two screws so you get those four screws total and then the hard drive can come off of the bracket and then you pull it out swap in your other hard, your new hard drive take out the SATA port of course and it looks like that and then you plug in the new drive and you put it back into the bracket you install the four screws that hold the bracket to the hard drive um, double check to make sure the port to the motherboard is, is still in and then you install the bracket to the motherboard same way you took it out or reverse from what, how you took it out with the four or five screws I, I dropped the screw let's get that <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna install these screws and after that you should be good to go for the hard drive if that's all you're installing good to go if you're gonna do the memory I'm gonna start with the memory now it's on the other side real easy the memory is actually a lot easier memory is just one stick that's removable there's two gigabytes on mines I had six total two gigabytes removable four built in so you pop off the heat shield or the dust shield um, very carefully you stick your uh, pry bar under that little slot there and it comes comes right off make sure you remember how it was aligned I'll show you later but there's two pins or uh, clamps or clips or whatever that hold it in so you push them outwards push one and the other one and you tilt the stick up memory stick and then you pull it out gently these are the specs it, it'll it'll focus hold on there you go those are the specs I tried to match the specs as much as possible just when I was buying my new stick so I bought pretty much the exact same stick except instead of two gigabytes it's eight which for this computer it's I've read up it's the max that it can do is the expandable memory goes up to eight so you'll have 12 gigabytes total on your machine so you slide it in at an angle and then you clamp it down and then there's a triangle on the top that points towards the spine of the, of the book on the on that uh, heat shield right there uh, you can't really see it on the camera but it'll point towards the top you want to make sure that it points towards the spine and then that way you can cl clamp it in if you had it upside down it's probably it doesn't go in if you look at the slots it's very hard to tell but 
yeah, it'll only go in one way, but I don't want you to try and force it the other way. So just make sure that that arrow is pointing up towards the spine. And after that, just double check everything, make sure all the screws are correct, all the ports are connected, um, nothing is loose, and you should be able to put the plastic piece back on, the plastic backing, screw everything in. Um, I like to screw things from outward in, or it doesn't really matter, inward out. Yeah, it's just plastic, so just make sure it's snug. Don't over tighten anything. Don't if it feels like it's cross threading, try to back out. Again, if you put it back in the same hole, it'll be less likely that you cross thread. Um, just a little tip there from me. I don't know. There you go. And then just turn it on. Make sure that it reads your RAM, your RAM, 12 gigabytes of RAM or whatever you bought, and.